What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Evan King and we're back with another one. Um, yo, the scenery's a little different. You know, your boy decided to take his talents on the road. And you know, since I'm so dedicated to the process, I decided to take the show with me. So you know wherever I go, the channel follows. Uh, so we got the cult of Andrew Tate. Uh, I don't know if you guys been living underneath the rock, but as a recent, last time I checked, I think they um, banned this man off of social media. I'm talking about all social media platforms. Like the man doesn't even have a TikTok and he's banned off of that. Uh, Andrew Tate is one of those individuals who's like, kind of like a trailblazer in the field that he's walking in. Um, highly opinionated man. Like it, it's crazy too, cause I first seen him on the Fresh and Fit podcast and didn't think anything much of anything that he was really saying. Um, it's kind of the same spew about the high valued man that you kind of hear everybody talking about nowadays. It just feels like, like Kevin Samuels opened this door for all these other, you know, copyright images of him to just start coming out spewing the same shit he was spewing. And I fucked with Kevin Samuels personally, but um, Andrew Tate apparently got banned for his shit. So without doing too much talking, it's, it's your boy Gabos. And uh, we got the cult of Andrew Tate, the dark seekers of the war room. Oh my God, please like, comment, and subscribe because your boy's consistent. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right to it. Devoted followers who leave their families for you, give their money to you, give their bodies to you, give up their lives. Oh yeah, we switching it up, baby. We switching it up. And we'll Hope you guys enjoy. Is Andrew Tate starting a cult? In my previous video, I documented his whole life story, and during that, I came across a clip that kind of shook me. I think it's good for me to be able to say, ah, oh, look, I have 110,000 people who like me, who are my fans, for example, who would help me if I ever asked for it, not that I ever would. Who, who are some of these guys? I know I, I know um, Aiden, Aiden Ross, but the guy underneath him I don't know, and the guy to the upper left corner, he looks like, nah, ain't it. Um, okay agree with my worldviews, but they're being taken seriously because they also have financial means. They're complete brokies. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, so That's just what, well, uh, brokies. When you hear him say that, and then you realize he's openly supported other cult leaders like Joseph Coney. And the reason I got this t-shirt made is because I have a lot of respect for Coney. Now I know, okay, he's a warlord, whatever, whatever. But Coney is a G. And he has even praised the infamous German dictator. Everything must happen instantly. Quickly, fast, speed, attack. Hitler conquered Europe with Blitzkrieg. You need to go quickly. Then you realize he now has over 130,000 people paying him every month, essentially for his advice. But above all else, he has a secret organization called- Time out for his advice? For his advice. He now has over 130,000 people paying him every month, essentially for his advice. But above all else, he has a secret organization called The War Room, a network of members with varied expertise which allow Can't be that secret if we all know about it, right? Or is it just me? Allows them to exert influence globally. They congregate in real life with the ultimate goal of achieving freedom in a world of slavery. This slavery is just beginning. They're trying to reduce you to a QR code and they are looking for people who blindly comply. This is why they make these mandates. The mandate is designed to purge the ranks of anybody who is not a slave. This world of slavery is what he calls the matrix, which kind of is just anyone who participates in the confines of today's society. When I talk about the matrix, I'm talking about the systems which have been created by society, which are deliberately designed to enslave. In this matrix, we're used for our efforts and our energies. And you're existing inside of a system which is deliberately rigged to make the rich richer and for the poor to stay poor. Where's the lie, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Where's the lie? Where is the damn lie? Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, you hear him say all that and it's like he, he didn't really miss, miss a beat because it's like we are dealing with the matrix. We're, we are dealing with a, a society that, that dictates and controls things and don't often leave room for a lot of questions. You know, we're kind of just been conformed to go about things that have already been set in stone way before we were here. I get, I, here's the thing, I've, I've heard him before. I've heard him before. And oftentimes I feel like, like it's the right message, wrong messenger. And I think he's dealing with that reality because it's like society wants you to conform. I'm not trying to talk too much, but society wants you to conform in a certain way. And whenever you start to become like a, not like a trailblazer, but like kind of almost like a vigilante. Like you're going against the grain. Um, of course, they're going to try to cancel you. And I think that's what a result of what's going on right now. 
But yeah. The best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So is it possible that Andrew Tate is doing a 2022 version of convincing people to believe in his worldview and worshiping him, then funneling them into a secret worshiping. group to control them even more? Yeah, dragging once it. he has that control, well, we don't really know what he's going to do next. But he is going to do something based on what he said here. Are you trying to keep up being like as viral as you are forever? This is stage oh. one of a three-step plan. So I'm going to be viral for a little bit longer and then step two begins. The conquest is continuing. I started doing research on cults, how they form. How on they cults? Operate, how do members join? Then research on cult leaders. How do they act? How do they recruit? How are they successful and unsuccessful? And before I give you this example, think about Andrew, the War Room Network, and how he thinks everyone is living in the Matrix. He thinks? Typically, cults start as religious groups, which slowly turn into something dark and sinister. For example, the People's Temple. Jim Jones was a Methodist preacher with a sizable congregation in Indianapolis. He began to perform faith healings. Many of his followers believed he had a supernatural gift. The church would be renamed to the People's Temple, and Jones warned his followers that he had received visions of a nuclear attack that would devastate Indianapolis. This led the church to be to Guyana and forming their own little town that we now know as Jonestown. In the beginning, everything seemed all right. Just a group of people trying to make a community. Eventually, a U.S. Congressman, Leo Ryan, led a fact-finding mission and went to Jonestown. While visiting, oh, members shit. of the People's Temple told Congressman Ryan they needed help and wanted to leave. Ryan quickly departed with 15 of those members. While boarding their plane, a truck of the cult members arrived at the airstrip and began shooting at the plane. Congressman Ryan and four others were killed that day. Later that same day, Jones, a hit. That the U.S. government would send the military to seize Jonestown, was quoted saying, No way for us to die. We must die with some dignity. A drink mixture of flavor aid and cyanide was created and handed out to all members. Those who refused to drink were injected with cyanide via syringe against their will. In what total, the 909 fuck? inhabitants of Jonestown died that day. <laughs> what? So they just didn't just kill the head of this snake they, they took out the rest of the tribe like they just washed out a whole town 900 people oh i mean okay cults are structured That's like well the outer layers consist of helpful harmless and agreeable information as you get closer to the center you find more unusual and evil ideals Andrew started to gain traction by representing the ideals of right-wing conservatives on social media in a day and age where liberal ideals dominate the mainstream. In America, it's assumed the country is about 50% Republican and 50% Democrat. Cap. Most celebrities, companies, and mainstream media outlets identify as Democratic and liberal, so there is, theoretically, a huge part of the country that is being underrepresented. That's where Andrew steps in. People latch onto him and his ideas because he says the things that generally most Republicans or conservatives all right this is the thing people latch onto his ideas and shit let, let, let's be honest andrew tate is the modern day influencer let's be honest man like oh he's not the first person in in power to use social media to influence them even on a smaller scale that's all ig is that's all tiktok is it's people getting on in front of a camera and picking a topic and giving you their perspective on it just because they could get people in drones to agree with their thought process to subscribe or follow into whatever it is that they're doing because they say things that are relatable they give you facts they say things that are unconventional that you don't hear every single day but the fact that it's coming from them and it resonates with you you follow i don't see me personally i don't see andrew tate to be this this cult like leader like come on man like are you serious i don't know i don't know let's finish watching agree with doesn't that show how powerful the, the people behind all this shit are? yeah do you know like you've it's, got trump who doesn't give a shit it's a big fight we have ahead of us you know yeah. and you've got yeah. the best soldier you could have as a president and he's still struggling to get the wall built he's still yeah. struggling still he's still people conservatives are being censored on social media this is the outer layer of the cult onion the second layer of the onion would be more of his controversial takes that divide people the things he says or does where even his own followers might disagree to get to the more shady and evil layers if there are any, you would probably have to join the War Room. He's extremely vague with what the War Room really is. The War Room is a private network. That's the most I can say. Kind of imagine the Freemasons of old. What we do know is that the War Room is like the Freemasons, which some consider to be a cult. We know it's a secret organization. We know that members have to pay to be in it, as well as compete to prove their value to the organization. We know that people- Sounds like a more expensive Discord if you ask me.
Join because they fear being stuck in the Matrix, and the War Room will be able to protect them. We know they meet in real life. We only know three members of the War Room. Tristan Tate, this author, and this guy Iggy, who is the master of spells and shadows. According to his Twitter account, he is the greatest hypnotist the world has ever known. Every other member of the War Room, we can assume, is just looked at as a number based on this video. So I want you to consider all of that while watching this video. Okay. What's up with this old ass? Want to become a cult leader? <laughs> Since the death of God, there's been a vacancy open. Yo, you what is going on? Door. Here's how. Establish front groups. We're a Bible study group. We're a management course. We're a meditation center. Monsters University. They got shirts that say cult members. <laughs> Yo. They wear shirts that say cult members, bro. Oh, just to try to tie in this narrative about this one man, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this going. Promise to fulfill their dreams. We have the secrets to self-improvement. Join our elite mission. You cannot stop me. I'm that guy. You need my help. You have two choices. You either sell your soul to Tate and say, I accept Tate is all knowing. I will listen to you inside of Boston University. Please save me. Offer them something free and get them to feel obliged to give you something in return. Welcome to the Boston University 2.0 webinar. Free presentation. Gradually over time, you'll begin to shape the recruits' behavior by granting or withholding this love and attention. After they've bonded, slowly start making your demands upon them. The message being nothing in this world has value unless it relates to the leader if you have less money than me even by a single cent you're a fucking brokey a wagey a peon a peasant a nobody <laughs> come live with us wear these clothes eat this food why, do you why the fuck would you spend three pounds on a coat when you can have an orange juice a coffee and a water one of the most important ways to discover someone's a dick or not is that they wear a smartwatch but male haircuts are coming in a pit at the top of the mountains a pointless sh men do I want to be like him. Let me ask you a question. Do you eat salt and pepper? You don't eat salt. Prescribe a rigid schedule. You don't have fire blood. You don't wake up to go piss at 3.32 a.m. and go, I'm not going back to sleep because I want to make some fucking money. So you're all lazy. Control their thoughts. Our ideology answers all questions to all problems. If I talk about something, I know exactly what I'm talking about all of the time. There are still idiots out there who go, hmm, I don't know if I can trust them. Control their emotions. <laughs> Induce guilt. And here I am showing you how war room members live their lives. And you're not thinking, I need to get in that room. I don't know what you're thinking. You're probably not thinking at all. And instead, you're going to sit at home, make some excuse for why you're not in the war room, why you're not part of our network. And fear. I think you need to be sitting here panicking at the fact that you don't have enough money. You need to be concerned and worried and sad. And you need to do something about it today. Control information. He's, he's dragging it. All the workings of I'll the definitely give him that. A private network. This is like he's... Insane. Can't imagine the Freemasons of old. The War Room is the most powerful network on the face of the planet today. Tell them that there is a part of their mind they must eliminate in order to find happiness. No one cares about how depressed you are. No one gives a shit. You motherfuckers who aren't happy need to learn to be grateful. Claim authority. <laughs> it can come from a divine source. Not only my parents listen to man, I am actually fulfilled with divine purpose. I'm one of God's favorites. Bogus scientific research or special knowledge. I've analyzed the entire earth and realized all of the world's problems. I'm about to tell you the root cause of every single problem in the world. Make up stories no, about yourself to boost your importance. I say with 1,000% confidence, I don't know any other motherfucker alive could have done what I did yesterday. Encourage separation from their family. With a bunch of other insignificant losers. Think about it. Dad's bitch, I'm stupid, sister, brother, whoever. Well, they're going to find a whole bunch of clips to, to, to prove their point into why he is becoming this cult leader. I, I get it. Losers. I get it. Aunt, aunt, your aunt, that favorite aunt, dumb as fuck. If they die, nobody would care. Have confessionals where people demonize their early lives and only praise their life in the group. Mm. So I felt very alone, particularly before I joined the war room. I always say f time and f blood. I want to know, do our souls align? I need to find people that believe things that I believe, that want the same things that I want. You need to find a group of people that can support you inside a tribe that's strong enough to have your back all the way around. And that is the number one reason you should make the investment to join the war room. But don't be stupid about it. Start slowly. 
A good con man takes a little bit of truth and a lot of lies and pulls the wool over the eyes of the ignorant. This is stage one of a three-step plan. So I'm going to be viral for a little bit longer, and then step two begins. The conquest is continuing. All right. Um, my biggest takeaway from watching this whole thing is <sighs> Andrew Tate is no more of a, of a cult leader than fucking DJ Academic. You know what I'm saying? And <sighs> we're living in a world where now the freedom of speech has limitations. Um, in that one clip that I see this man tell people to murder people, kidnap people, rob people. Um, I see him doing literally everything that every influencer is doing. Now, granted, I, like I get some of the stuff that he's saying, controversy. Listen, you got to shake the room. If you're an influencer, and if you and you get, if and if you're an influencer with big aspirations, you got to come up with controversial shit to get your voice trending. Does he believe in everything that he's probably saying? He makes it convincing, but I doubt he does. This is no different than any other influencer you see on TikTok, bro. And granted, I don't listen to his content. I don't really follow the whole, the whole one percent or like you know the high value man principle. That that's not my cup of tea personally. But to ban him on social media because we want to drag this cult narrative, like, are we serious? Like, he's like, we can't be serious, bro. Social media telling you that no one man should have all this power, and he has a lot of power, and he has it quick. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to nip that, but also try to share this message that freedom of speech is our right. In all actuality, it's not. Look what happened to the last POTUS, you know. So I thought it was very interesting, the narrative that they're trying to push about this man being a cult leader. Um, if like leave in the comment section below what you think about Andrew Tate. I know he's trending right now. A lot of people talking shit about him. A lot of people feel like what's go been going on is um, unfair. What's well, fair anyway. But um, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Andrew Tate, this whole situation, and uh, I'm gonna see you next time. Till next time, my people, I love y'all. Mamba out.